Hey y'all, it's Tracy with Mama's Comfort Cooking. And today we're about to do us some turnip greens and mustard green mix. I'm going to show you how to cook them, how to season them. Let's get started. You ready? Let's go ahead and turn it down, get y'all comfortable, and show you what I'm working with. Here we go. Let's turn you around. So in this pot, I have... I have a ham hock, I have fat back, water, and some vegetable broth. I'm going to add a little more vegetable broth for you. We're going to season the water. I already got it started. Let's add more vegetable broth in here along with the water. We're using two different meats with the, collard, with the turnip greens, I'm sorry, and the mustard greens. We're going to season our water first. So now I'm going to add a third a cup of canola oil. Look, I'm country, y'all. So I'm going to get all of the oil out. All right. I'm going to add onions. Somebody did the work for me. So I'm adding a whole thing of diced onions in there. Next thing I'm going to add is a combination of seasonings. I have onion powder, salt, pepper, garlic powder, everything but salt. And I'm adding all of that in there. I'm going to give it a stir. And I'm going to season my water. Next, I'm going to add a combination of pepper juice. This is a little spicy pepper juice. Just a little bit. With a couple of the jalapenos in there. And then I'm going to add some mild pepper juice. Just a little mild pepper juice. Mm -mm. Get that out. Something fell over there. Off my pepper juice lid fell. And I'm going to stir it. Now this is what I do. You can taste this just in the stage that it's in to make sure that your water is flavored just right. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to get a little bit of that. Now that's good. I think the only thing I need, I need a little bit more salt. So I'm going to add a little more salt to this. The flavor is really good. And I'm going to add a little more pepper juice. Just a little bit more pepper juice. All right. Now that's what's going on. You just season your water. Over here, let me show you the difference. These are turnip greens and mustard greens. So over here... I separated them so you can see. This is a turnip green. Okay. You can cut them up however you want. You can cut them small. But turnip greens break very easy. Look at this. You just pull it apart. It's just that simple. And I leave the stem with turnip greens. These are mustard greens. You see the difference? That's a mustard green. They look different. That's a turnip green. Mustard greens are typically lighter, but today we're going to mix both of them into our pot. So those are the mustard greens. These are the turnip greens. So into this pot, we're going to add our mustard greens and our turnip greens. Take your time and get them in there. It really doesn't matter um, how you put them in there. Just get them in there. Make sure you clean them now. I had to clean these because nobody wants gritty greens. So make sure you take the time to clean your greens. However you clean them. 
I do have my own technique, but I'll let you clean yours the way you want to. I'm going to put a lid on these greens. Remember, they seem like a lot, but turnip greens cook down to almost nothing. So we're going to let them get started. We'll come back after they start boiling real, real good. We're going to put a lid on them. And this is how you do your, your turnip green, mustard green mix. Okay? They're going to be delicious. You want to keep the stem on there. They're very delicious. Um... I won't have to fill this pot again. This is more than enough water for what I'm doing. The water is going to rise. This is going to shrink down. And as they cook, I'll turn them down so that they will simmer. Going to have your house smelling honey like the holidays. So we'll be back in just a little bit and do the next step. But we're going to put a lid on that, okay? Remember, we're going to put a lid. Put that lid on it. There you go. See you in a little bit. All right, y'all. These greens are cooking good. These turnip and mustard greens have been cooking for about an hour and 50 minutes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. We're going to keep on. Only filled it up one time. Look how good they look. Look at those onions. Mm, all that seasoning that's in there, the fat back, you can see some of it coming to the top. Take your time. Remember, we're doing these the old school way. So I'm going to put that lid back on there and keep letting it do what it do. See you in a little bit. Here's the outcome of the greens, honey. They done. They just going to simmer down. Look at all that meat falling off this bone. Look at all that ham, honey going right into these greens take your time some stuff is just like the old way i cooked these for two hours honey <laughs> yes i did and i am glad about it and i'm going to enjoy it i'm gonna let a little bit more water just simmer down a little bit keep some of that juice in here though just to pour over my cornbread get in there look at these turnip greens and mustard greens honey they tender and they done Thank y'all for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. Here's the outcome of the greens, honey. They done. They just gonna simmer down. Look at all that meat falling off this bone. Look at all that ham, honey. Going right into these greens. Take your time. Some stuff is just like the old way. I cooked these for two hours, honey. <laughs> yes, I did. And I am glad about it. And I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to let a little bit more water just simmer down a little bit. Keep some of that juice in here, though, just to pour over my cornbread. Get in there. Look at these turnip greens and mustard greens. Honey, they tender and they done. Thank y'all for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking.